Hi friends, this is Mehmu Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a classified website like OLX and Quicker using PHP's one of the widely used framework Laravel and for developing this classified website I am using 5.8 version of Laravel okay so now in my last video you saw I discussed how to download and install Laravel framework okay and in this video we will see how to integrate that authentication functionality with our application okay so now you can see this is the project which we had downloaded in our last video okay so right now we don't have anything we just have a blank page okay so where laravel and some menu bar has been uh, has been shown okay so now with this we need to integrate login register and register login and logout functionality okay so for developing this register login functionality uh, from where users can admin can register okay and admin can login okay so for developing this kind of functionality with our classified website we don't have to write the code for getting this functionality okay because laravel provides us the inbuilt support for uh, developing or integrating authentication functionality with our application okay we just need to execute some command uh, on command prompt then within a fraction of seconds that authentication functionality will get added to our project okay so now in this video we will see that how we can uh, integrate that authentication functionality with our application okay so now for doing that first we need to go to command prompt okay and from there we need to come to our c drive and then we need to go to our xamp folder and from there we need to go to our docs and here we need to point to our project okay cd add zone okay so now here uh, okay now now in my add zone project okay so from here i need to execute some command okay so once i execute that command automatically within a fraction of seconds register login and logout functionality will get added to my project okay so now uh, here let me just go to uh, go to our project okay so this is our project which we had uh, downloaded i have just imported this project to my editor okay so now inside this app we will see uh, inside http inside our controllers okay so this is the place where we will be creating our controllers okay so right now we do, we have only controller.php file which is our base controller okay and, and after this uh, now onwards how much our uh, controllers will be creating all those controllers will get created inside this controllers folder okay so once i integrate authentication functionality with my application one another controller called home controller will get added or included inside this controllers folder okay so you will see this uh, after a few minutes okay and then here okay let's go to routes okay inside the web.php okay so now you can see it's when when i am in my root folder that is whenever i am on my root folder it's calling this welcome template okay see here it's calling the welcome okay and this welcome is a view okay so let me just show you that view for getting the for for all the views we will we have to go to resource and inside views you can see there is a file called as welcome.blade.php okay so this is the view which we use is displaying here on the page okay so whenever i am on my root directory when i'm on the project okay so it's calling this welcome.blade.php which is placed inside resources views folder okay so now and now once i integrated authentication functionality this register login and logout functionality will get added to this template okay so now let's just do that okay so now once i once i integrate that functionality one more route gets added to this web.php file okay so this web.php file is a file where we will be uh, keeping all the routes okay so now let's just type that command php artisan make auth okay so now you just need to execute this command php artisan make 
auth and when you hit enter it will give you a message as authentication scaffolding generated successfully okay so now when i refresh this page you will notice login register functionality will get added immediately here you can see when i click on register it will give you the register template from where admin can register and when i click on login it will display you the login template where admin can log in okay so now so immediately within a fraction of seconds you can see this login and register functionality gets added with our project okay and when i go to my base directory base url you will see the same welcome.blade.php file is loaded okay so we can change this file to some other file as well okay so that we will see in our later videos okay so now we have successfully integrated our login and register functionality okay so now let me just register with a user okay let's say suraj kumar email as suraj okay password suraj okay so when i click on register it will give me an error okay base table or view not found okay add zone users doesn't exist okay okay so here i'm trying to register inside the database but i have not created a database uh, yet okay at first we need to create it okay okay so now here you can see i have a create i have a database with a name as add zone okay and i need to set this database inside my env file okay uh, env is an environment file we need to set the name of this database and the root and the username of this database inside my env file okay so now let's go to our editor okay and let's open our env file and then here we need to change the name of the database as add zone okay and then database user as root okay. and i have not set any password so i will just leave it as blank okay so now just save it okay now let's come here refresh it okay and now we need to migrate okay so we need to first go to our database and then here you can see it has created two tables with a name as the users and passwords reset okay so now here inside my database i don't have any table here okay so, but i have the schema of both the tables of users and passwords reset okay so as you can see here this is the schema how many number of fields i want it to be there in my users table what are the type of the type of each and every field okay so all those details will be there okay so i need to migrate i need to migrate these tables so that both of these tables gets created inside my database okay so for that i need to type php artisan migrate command okay so now when i hit enter you will see migration takes place it's displaying a message as migration table created successfully and now when you go to your database and when you re refresh you will see three tables will get created okay so now we have the users table and now when i try to register with a user suraj okay then suraj suraj okay and when i click on register it's giving me an error it's saying that the password must be at least eight characters okay so this registration form is fully validated okay so i will just enter password longer than four character or lower or maybe equal to eight characters 
okay so now when I click on register you will see it has successfully registered one user and when I click on users table you will see one user gets inserted inside the table okay and here it has taken me to the home page of the user okay and when i click on this username and when i click on logout it will automatically take me out from the home page and it will send me again to the users page okay and again when i want to get logged in i will type email and then password okay let me just insert a wrong password okay it has given me a message as these credentials do not match a record circuit so i will type correct password okay now when i click login okay so now you can see it has taken me to the home page okay so now from here i can log out as well okay so this is how we can integrate the login register and uh, logout functionality within a fraction of seconds to our application okay? okay so now here you can see this to this extra route gets added uh, to our web.php uh, earlier when i when i shown you this file this route was not there but when we integrate our authentication functionality this route gets added okay and now this home controller also gets added okay and along with this home controller when i come to resources folder here you can see there is one more folder called layouts gets added inside this layouts folder we have app.blade.php okay so all these files automatically gets generated and created uh, once we integrate our authentication functionality with our application okay so now this is our thing about uh, integrating authentication functionality with uh, our project okay so that's all for this video guys uh, and in my next video i will show you how to change this uh, uh, welcome.blade.php view or template to some other page okay and we will see how to create different controller and models with which we can call different views okay so that all those things we will see in our later videos okay i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching